Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Shell Toe Adidas back again with another ROM review. Today, we're going over the Wild Shooter 1.51 by Flash and Lights over there at XDA Developers. This ROM today is uh, 2.3.4. Uh, I'm running the kernel that was provided within the ROM. It's pretty sleek, pretty fast. You know, it has the Zeus mods and the modifications and the notifications. Uh, you clear them away, you know, and drop it back down. You go straight into your quick settings. The camera also has some mods to it. Uh, you can use the panoramic or the HDR. What's beautiful about the panoramic is once you take that first snapshot, it actually saves that frame. So when you move it over and it senses that you're in another frame, it actually takes the other shots for you. So instead of you keeping it, having to press the button, you know, it's, it's a lot more fluid. The app drawer, uh, pretty much the same when you flash the ROM, but after you uh, go into your wild tweaks and you can tweak it a little bit, you can add five icons uh, per row. Uh, and then you can take the, the pages away so you can have it a lot more fluid, reminiscent to the older drawer devices or not even the older one, the other drawer devices, you know, which is pretty good to me. And uh, in your app drawer, you actually have four uh, icons instead of three sections. You know, uh, the fourth icon is Wild Apps, and it uh, actually shows you what he added himself uh, outside of the stock ROM. The interface is uh, real responsive, real fluid. I can't complain about that, man. I love a, a fluid, fluid ROM. And now on this, Beats Audio comes included, but uh, a lot of people don't know. Uh, before they actually flash their first Beats ROM that you actually have to have headphones on it to actually see your Beats icon come up once you get that Beats icon then you know what it is you know you're on uh, and then the wild tweaks you have so many different things but the most dominant are the lock screen settings and the sense options you know uh, a lot of people use those so sit back relax I showed you most of it stock right now when I come back with this uh, review it's gonna be a uh, more of a uh, personal type room. I'm gonna make it my own. But uh, sit back, relax, grab your phones, man, and let's get into it. Shell to Adidas, holla at you. Hey, what's up, y'all? This Shell to Adidas back again. This the uh, Wild Shooter 1.51. I customized it a little bit, as you can see. I'm running a brand new live wallpaper, as always. You know me. I always gotta have something different. But uh, this ROM is nice, man. Um, if you want the best of both worlds, tweaks and stock, this is the way to go. Only um, only glitch I've ever run into is if you go to your internet. Say I go to my internet. And uh, the bookmarks work in the actual widget. Say I was to go to my internet. Which I'm trying to do now. Okay, let's just go to a widget. And uh, we're going to open it in the actual stock browser. Now, if you hit your menu and you try to go to your bookmarks, it'll give you a force close. Everything else works. And that's not even a big thing, you know. It's not a big deal. Me, personally, I've been running Dolphin Browser. And I don't search for anything vulgar just for the fact I'm running Dolphin Browser. A lot of y'all know that um, you got privacy issues with that browser. But other than that... You got your uh, tweaks in your actual drop down bar. You know, you can actually take this, these recently used apps away. Give you a little more space on your notifications. If I drop it down, clear it away, and come back to it, it'll take me right into my quick settings. You got a lot of quick settings. He added some more uh, outside of the ones Zeus Mars had. And if I go to my actual app drawer, See, so you got the, the four icons at the bottom. You got frequent, you got downloaded, and you got wild apps. Wild apps is what he added personally. You know, uh, outside of tweaking other applications, that's the ones he added personally. It's running fluid. I got my Wi Fi tether working. You know, you got to put your uh, routing fix on that. Everybody who's running the Evo 3D who has this wireless tether application knows exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, I ain't. Enable encryption, go down to HTC Evo 3D, and I actually go down to uh, <clears throat> Routing Fix, check that box, and you're ready to rock. 
I'm trying to see what else is different with this ROM. The camera, you have the panoramic uh, feature with that. You got panoramic as well as HDR. So if you're a photographer, that's a plus. If you're not a photographer, you know, I find myself using it just for the simple fact that it's there. You know, you got, as you can see, it says panorama there, HDR here. Those are effects outside of the ones that come standard. He, uh, he made it a lot faster. You're able to send bigger uh, text messages and MMS messages. So he, he tweaked that. But that's pretty much an overall view of this ROM. The Shell So Adidas over here, Stair Droids. If you want this ROM, go over to XDA. Uh, look up flashing lights. Uh, spelled just like it. One word, but spelled just like it sounds. Flashing lights. And uh, go ahead and get it. Deuce.